Gaming like a new. Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sensomi. And if you're subscribed to the channel, I say thank you very much. And if you're not, I say please do, it will help me out a lot. Now it's Tuesday, it's the Welling United save, and we're gonna start out away against Chelsea. Let's get this game on the way and see what we can use today. Come on. Um, Toby Egan is back. Maybe he should start. Nah, he's going to start in the team. Um, McAllister need a rest. So I guess we can't play Agner, can we? Yes, we can. I thought he was suspended for being sent off. Uh, Nessid, Grant, and... Where's Wigget? There's Wigget. Let's put Wigget on the bench then. At least. I think these two are the better players, but this is the better captain, which makes it a bit um, weird and tough to find a way to do it the best way I can. Now let's see. Jack Grealish didn't... Um, Jose Lincoln is supposed to play there, yes. Uh, so let's put him in for Petri first. And then bring him on for Jack Grealish. Tony, Lukic, Oscar Thorne, that's right. Uh, let's have a look. Seems like the bench is right. Let's have a look. If we have somebody that we believe in. Pena, but he's injured, still injured. Oh, he's on the yellow. Do we have him on general rehab? No, now we have. Mm. Yeah, I think we have the team. Let's see if we can take... Do, do something extraordinary today as well as we did against Manchester United last time around. That was a, a weird game. I was so sure we we're going to be crushed as we've been every time against Manchester United. But um, then managed to win against them with 2-1. Uh, it was a, a wonderful day. Let's go for that. We've got nothing to lose today. Huge underdogs, I must say. So let's go. Five minutes into the game, not a single shot. Ten minutes, not a shot. Interesting. Chelsea is are, are beneath us in the league at the moment. That's interesting. So whoever has taken over Chelsea haven't been able to bring them back up to greatness. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Here they come with a corner, headed away by Nova. Thank you. Come on. Ooh, that's dangerous. We fixed that as well. Thank you. Whew. Come on, Welling. We need something here today. Um, a draw, I would be happy with a draw, but of course, three points would be a dream. And um, look at that. Arsenal, two points ahead of us. Ooh, here they come. They're definitely the better team so far. Ah, look at that. No cure for that. That was beautifully played by Chelsea. Not much we could do. But it's going to be a VRR check. We can hope for a... Oh, it's disallowed! He was offside! Ho oh, oh, ho! I thought that... Look at the passing here. Ah, oh, he was offside. Lucky us. For now, anyway. I think I'm going to be shouting that and demanding more from my players. Oh, come on. 
<clears throat> and he still gets the goal he wants from the same angle. Come on. Maybe it is time to change goalkeepers and uh, let somebody young get an opportunity to develop. Oh, Lukic, so tired. He's going to be changed in half time. Novak tired. Now Alex Roberts as well. Well, Lukic is not getting any better, even though it's half time. Pause here. Other than that, Roberts and Novak are still okay. Let's go for that. Um, come on well most of them did get motivated by that speech that sounds good Steve Clay coming in as well Agna to Novak to Agna long long ball but no here they come again I thought we were finally going to get an opportunity to uh, do something but uh, it seems like Chelsea is dominating this game. Um, oh, look at that. Wasn't he offside, though? It's the same player again, and he really should be offside this time. Vieira's going to have a check, and it's... Yeah, he was offside. Thought so. He was a little too free. Let's look at, the, look at that. Yeah. It wasn't a lot. It looks a lot when the ball right gets down to him, but um, yeah. Novak really, really tired. I think we're going to be putting in Jack Grealish. Oof. Holy smokes. Roberts very tired as well, so I guess getting folks is coming in as well. Well... It's been a very poor game, I should say. Um, we haven't even had any chances. It's been totally dominated by Chelsea, and here they score 2-0 as well. Really disappointing game for us, I think. Unfortunately, I can't make any more changes. But Martin Turney should have... Should probably have been... Taking off. Kobe Egan is not making a good game today. And as I've said, I am thinking about bringing in some younger players to get the opportunity, like Harkin. Maybe it's about time that um, Kobe Egan is left out of the squad. He's been here since uh, my first season, as I've said. The only player that has followed us all the way from... Vanarama National League South, all the way up here. So, um, yeah, my bet is time. But he made some really good saves um, through the years and been very important for us. But uh, sooner or later we have to realize, oh, that it's time. His uh, the club has grown out of his stature, so to speak. Feels like it anyway, and um, yeah, we're just gonna have to see. Ooh, come on, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to have Kieran Dodd as first keeper and Harkin as a reserve, or if I'm gonna be using Harkin. Harking is younger, but I don't think he has um, reached uh, the, the heights of Dodd. I think Dodd is the better at the moment, but I think Harkin has a better potential. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough time deciding uh, who to play. Well, we we'll lose this game. Only 2-0, to be honest. The way we were played out of the park. 19-7 in, in shots there. While we had 3-1. So, yeah. It could have been 
a lot worse than 2-0, that's for sure. But that was the first game. I guess I'll just see you in the next game. And so we're here, second game. It's against Norwich away. Uh, let's just jump into it and see where, where it takes us. What kind of players can we use today? Oh, Novak is a bit tired. I should have rested him as well. Lincoln and Turney. Or it, I don't know, it was Turney and Lukic got two days of rest from training after last game. So, yeah, but maybe I should have given Novak the training rest as well. But I think I'm going to be playing with the same team. Um, I've put um, Harkin in goal. Dodd on the bench and Toby Egan is now taken off the team. Um, it's only 29, but uh, I feel I need to put my emphasis on the younger lads and see where that takes us. I think we're going to be putting back McAllister and I think Penna is back in full training. Yes. So I'm going to have him on the bench. He does have the possibility to play both right and left. So, But uh, he's probably going to come on in and play the second half as that left defender. If nothing goes wrong. And uh, I think we're going to be kicking this game off right now. Ooh -ha, let's hope for the best. Away to Norwich. I think this is, the one, of the, this is one of the teams that we... Probably need to take points from. Um, we're not going to go hard in on tackles. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Let's kick off. Let's skip. And we're off. Where's Norwich? Oh, they're fifth. So maybe they're not the team that we are supposed to get points from. Or maybe they've just had an easy start or something. We'll see. Alonso. Ooh, we are uh, in deep trouble here. And it's 1-0 for Norwich. Oh, well. I'm going to tell them to focus. And, uh, yeah. We've had... We're into 11, season 11, and we've had some ups and down seasons here. Mostly up, I would say. Um, even if we haven't gotten promoted, um, we've still had a top table situation. We really haven't had uh, a really bad season. Oh, look at that! Which um, might be lucky for us. Um, well, last season was the toughest season that we've had, and this season is not looking to be a lot easier, I must say, even though I feel like we have a little better team than we had last season, but uh, nowhere near to be secure of, um, of a Premier League uh, position for next year, um, that's for sure. We can still end up in that relegation zone before the season is over and we're going to get some problems then because championship football is not going to cover the salaries that we have since we don't have huge amount of uh, attendance so um and we don't have huge amount of um of uh, sponsoring. Oh, sorry for being a bit out of it there. Oh, here comes Oscar Thorne. Can he do something? No. Yes, he can. He takes it back. Oscar Thorne shoots. Oh, he scores! What a beaut by Oscar Thorne! And he equalizes for Welling United. Oh, that was a beautiful solo project, that. Bit lucky there, though. And... Yeah, oof. a good shot. I thought the keeper, uh, he's going to take that. He doesn't have the power to that shot, but no, I guess he placed it just perfect. And it's 1-1 at half time. Let's uh, see what we can do. We're going to pump our fist and 
Yeah, let's do that. We can win. And of course, De Rosa, De Rosa is going to come off. So Penna can come on in. That's going to be interesting to see. <clears throat> Hopefully he doesn't get injured or anything like that. But yeah. They rearrange in their team as well. Don't know if we have anybody that can play for Dominic. Or for Roberts. Well, we do have getting Folks. I know that. And I guess Grealish can play for Novak. But uh, I don't think they're good enough. Oh, come on. Yeah. That's too bad. Let's take them off. Uh, Wigget can play as a defensive midfielder, that is. Shall we use him there? Yeah, let's put Charlie Wiggett in. We get our captain in on the pitch. He's going to be playing as a midfielder, which he really can't play as. He can play as a defensive midfielder, but not a midfielder. So he's going to play there while he's only able to play there and there. Really, so uh, yeah. Maybe we should uh, pause the game. Pause the game. And we can go in here and we do that. And we bring him back here. And we bring Jose Lincoln into the middle there. And yeah, we play him like that. So he's in a position where he's where he feels comfortable. Uh Charlie Wiggett. Let's do that. See if that will be of any help. We kick off the game again. It's 15 minutes left to play. Turney with a free kick. Gets it in there, but the keeper has no problem. Henderson is the keeper in Norwich. Here's Turney. To Pena. Back to Turney. And Turney gets it to Grealish, who tries to reach Oscar Thorne there, but no. No luck for that one. Come on, Welling. Come on. Ooh, I mean, I didn't have much hope when I once I saw that they were fifth in the league, but when we equalized and when we actually kept one one quite long time, I was uh, gaining some some faith. Uh, great save by Harkin there. I was gaining some faith and hoping, hoping that we could get a draw out of this game, but um, now I just feel that it's too late for that now. We're not going to equalize here again, unfortunately. Would have been great if we could, but uh, no, I don't see it happening. Unfortunately, as I said, Harkins played good as well. Nezid has gone down and uh, the game is over I don't know if it was um, Wigget who made sure that they they didn't create a lot of more chances but yeah we lose the game and um, I guess I'll just see you in the next and last game of this episode which is at home to Watford and so we're here, last game of this episode, at home to Watford, who we're going to be facing in the FA Cup later on this year, the 5th of January. So we still have almost a month left before we're going to face them in the FA Cup. They're dead last in the league. Three points is what they have managed to pull together. So this is definitely one of those games that I need to win, not just draw or something like that. We need to win this one. Um, otherwise, we are in a bit of a problem. But that I can absolutely feel. But we have had a good week. Um, the players are mostly okay. Uh, suspension on Rodwell Grant, which is, unfortunately, I think he's the best defender we have. To be honest and um 
yeah, I think it's time for uh, Frank Carlos Pena to start the game. Um, yeah, yes, monitored now. Um, we've had to negotiate a new contract. We ha he hasn't signed the contract yet, but uh, the release clause for him was for twenty-five million pounds. So I've offered him a new contract because we paid a lot of him, a lot for him. Um, so we don't want to get such a low amount of. Uh, money for him as 25 million so we have signed the new condo we are about and hopefully i'll get him to sign it everything looked good anyway and then we'll get um a new minimum release clause of 81 million for him so 81 i guess i can live with that is i don't want to lose him to be honest, I think he has some great potential and he's already starting to show some really great sign of a good player. So, yeah, I definitely don't want to lose him, but uh, I do not. I definitely don't want to lose him to for 25 millions when we have um, signed him for, or bought him for 15 and with a clause that can make him them get all the way up to 18. That's a, that's only a seven. Uh, million pounds um, winning for us and that's that's not what I want um, so hopefully he will um, sign that new contract and um, then I will be happy uh, Pampa Fest go in with that everybody got motivated let's kick off let's skip that one and we're off as I said, this is the last game of this episode. And it's going to be interesting to see if we can win this game. They are dead last in the division. We are 15th. And um, yeah, we really need this one. So come on, players. Come on, Welling. Uh, I think I'm going to demand more of my pliers see what happens when I do that Come on I mean it seems like Watford are actually the better team here they come with a chance and oof, headed away but they keep the ball in the they score this is what's what was not uh, supposed or allowed to happen this can really bring us down to um, fighting for survival this season. This isn't good. Not good at all. Here's a corner for us. Turney. And there is Thorne. Oscar Thorne with an equaliser. Just uh, directly after their leading goal. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, thank you, Thorn. Now let's start playing football, please. Me lads, come on. Uh, you got that one, McAllister. McAllister tries. He gets to Thorn to Lukic. Here comes Roberts. Roberts. Oh, come on. Roberts is one of the players that I really hope that we can sign. Uh, Jose Lincoln as well, actually. Oh, come on. But for now, they're on, on loan only. Oh, come on. Stop him. Oof. 30 minutes. It's 1-1. One, one. It is at home, so it's here we need to win as well. Oh, come on, lads. Hmm. Got some good fitness in most of them. Martin Turney getting a bit tired at the moment, but uh, we're close to half time, so things will most likely get better. Um, oh, Pena missing out on that one, and oh, that was a huge mistake, but Ramsey whew, placing it outside. McAllister oh, couldn't even pass it to or throw it to uh, an own player. Come on. 
get the ball. Puts it on the... Come on. Uh, what am I going to say here? I'm going to point my finger. I'll pump my fist and... I think I'm going to go with this. Yeah, they need to work hard. We can't get out, go out there and put the boots on the grass and hope for a, a result. We need to do the work as well. So, yeah. I think Turney it will probably have to come off in this game. Uh, Ash... Mike Harry will probably come in in about 10 minutes. Lukic, Roberts. Ah, oh, come on, Roberts. Roberts. Roberts, he shoots. Oh, that's a poor finish. No power to the shot or anything. Uh, but yeah. McAllister, no, headed away. Jose Lincoln to Novak. To McAllister, back to Novak, to Lincoln. Out to McAllister. Oh, Alex. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, Lukic. Oh, Lukic. We've turned it around. Now I'm going to take that chance of... Um, yeah, when it comes to the left midfielder. And let Ash McHarry have an opportunity to try and... And do a good game here today. Uh, mostly because I want to rest. Turney. He's very tired at the moment. So we need to rest him. Come on Welling. We need to do better. Uh, spectators today. I didn't find it. Before we got this highlight. Oscar Thorne losing the ball there. And that's Wigget. Long ball up. Jose Lincoln, Lukic, trying to reach Alex. He does, but uh, a good save. Oh, he hasn't shown that sign that... Um... Oh, look at that! Oscar Thorn makes it 3-1. Super lads. We... <sighs> What else do we have on the bench? We have Steve... Uh, I think Steve Cly is going to be given the opportunity to play today as well. It might be a bit late for him to come on in. I'm hoping that um, it will um, give him... That there is enough time here so that he gets some average rating. Jose Lincoln very tired as well. Uh, let's put in Jack Grealish for him then. Novak is tired as well, but we can't do any more changes. Here comes Watford. Oh, Grealish is there. Come on. Get them away. Ah, oh, good one. But it comes back again. Oh, and again. And oh, what a goal. Five minutes to go. I'm going to tell them to focus here the last five minutes. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, holy smokes. And come on. Please. Let's keep this 3-2. And uh, the sound just went out there for me. I guess it did for you as well. Five minutes of added time, and it's almost over, and it's over! We get the three points. Oh, and Clay gets an average rating. Grealish doesn't, but I guess that's the least worrying thing, because he's going to retire after this season. I asked him to reconsider, but uh, he didn't want to, so he's going to retire. Uh, let's go for outstretched arm here to give them some morale boost. Let's continue. Since it is the last game of this episode, we're going to go through a couple of things. And uh, yeah, good one. We forgot to see what kind of attendance we had this game. Well, never mind then. Let's move on. Maybe we can see that in the schedule. 
think we can do that. Come on. Uh, let's start with the news. Premier League Trollbred celebrates birthday in style. Yes, it was my birthday there, the 14th of December. Welling United, we received 75,000 for Kavanaugh. Notts County bought him. Lukic, one goal from triggering a clause. Which, uh, yeah, that's not very nice. A Lukic and gold route. That's nice. I'm going to praise him. Um, superb in front of goal, of course. On sets for bonus. Uh, one goal away from 15 goals of the season. Trigger a clause will receive him 100,000. Yeah, I guess he's worth that. I have concern in the wake of, well, that's uh, McAllister. He's a bit jaded. Born inspire, so I'm gonna be giving him some praise as well. And uh, Celta Vigo boss Wow Ferreira has sen been seen. That's the one that wants Carlos Pena, and we don't want to lose him. So contract negotiation is happening. Um, so yeah. I'm really hoping that that we get that new contract signed so that we don't lose him. Finances, we've actually made a loss, but I think we're still in the same month where we are asked for everything to get improved. Training facilities, youth facilities, and all those things, which cost us, I think it was, was it four or six million pounds? So we still made a sort of a win this uh, month i think it is anyway let's have a look here we can see ground maintenance yes six and a half million pounds so yeah that of course uh, is the reason last mon month we had 9.9 thousand so that's a huge difference of course club visions are still fight bravely against um, relegation and we are doing that and we have uh, increased youth level on the way up improved youth facilities on the way up there improved training facilities is going up and the new stadium will be done this summer so um yeah next season we won't have 30,000 a game we can only take in 30, yeah 13 something club info you can see the important players here and um, you can see the facility here due to move into 13,387 capacity Welling United Stadium and uh, we are at Kravit Kacic which take 29,700 um, let's have a look at the competitions we are quite secure at the moment four points ahead or, yeah, four points ahead of West Ham. So hopefully we'll keep on keeping on. And you can see here we're going to face Watford in the FA Cup on the 5th of January. Knocked out by Sunderland in the Carabao Cup. Let's have a look at the schedule. Um, attendance, we could see here 22,834 did watch us win against Watford there. Interesting. And next episode, we will play Leeds, Wolves, and Newcastle, all in the league as well. So um, quite a bit away from when we start playing in the cup, and uh, we might go out at once. Watford gave us a really good game today, and um, they might get, do that, and... Um, the result might be very different. Current injuries, there are no current injuries, which is good. But uh, a lot of players have heavy risk of getting injured. So, yeah, training, not much to say. I think we've gone through what we need to go through to end an episode. And, uh, yeah. We will play Leeds in the next game. That's in eight days. So, um, well, it will be at once, once we get to the next episode. Um, but, yeah. 
So we have a top goal scorer of Oscar Thorne, highest average rating, Oscar Thorne, most assist by Martin Tony, best pass completion by Pavel Nesic, most player of the match award, Oscar Thorne, and most yellow cards is by Stuart Rodwell Grant, and red card, Agner, as we, you might remember if you've seen the last episode. But I think that's it. Uh, do like, subscribe, um, leave a little comment down below, share with your friends, and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Stay safe out there, have heaps of fun, and I'll just end with bye-bye-bye-bye.